I'm sharing my 10 item capsule wardrobe closet organization secrets with you in today's video. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. So I do the 10 item capsule wardrobe. I write about this in my Madame Chic series and I've also done a TEDx talk on the subject. This video is a collaboration with my friend Cass from Clutterbug, who I'm sure you all already know. She has a hit TV show on HGTV called Hot Mess House and her show is airing tonight. So she invited me to share my organization secrets with you because she sent me an email and she said, Jennifer, you are a bee. In her clutter bug system, she has four different insect or bug styles that people are. And she said that I'm a bee. So I looked it up, I looked into it and she's absolutely right. I am totally a bee. <laughs> Bees like beautiful things. They like to display their things. Um, I'm not a stark minimalist at all. I like things and I like looking at beauty, uh, but I also like to be organized. So I keep things accessible. I keep them out. And also I'm a perfectionist, so that's part of it too. And sometimes I don't organize if I can't do it perfectly. So I have made some updates in my uh, wardrobe because the last time I did a tour, there was a hot mess section in my wardrobe. I have since sorted that out. Thank you very much. <laughs> So let's have a look here. I'm going to leave Cass's information down below. Hot mess house, the quiz to find out what type of clutter bug you are, all of that down below. But right now let's go into the wardrobe and I'm going to show you how I organize my 10 item capsule wardrobe. Okay. So as you enter into my wardrobe here, you can see that a lot of it is the same. If you saw my last wardrobe tour, but a lot of it is different too. I was able to do some major decluttering and get rid of um, this whole wall was a hot mess last time. So I'll get into that in just a moment. But basically I'm going to show you how I like to organize. And she was so right, I am a bee. I like to have things accessible. I really don't like things tucked in drawers because then I forget that I have them and I never use them. So let's start here at the beginning. And I have uh, this really pretty station that I've set up because again, I like to see beauty. I love beautiful things. And so uh, when I walk into my wardrobe, I love seeing this and I feel like I'm in a very beautiful boutique. So this is my chest of drawers and um, it's not the prettiest thing. In fact, this used to be one of my children's and then it, it just didn't look that good. So I took it out of the room, gave them a new one, and I gave myself this one in my closet. But this is where I keep my undergarments in these top two drawers. And then I have pajamas down here and then socks down there. So this is my pajama drawer, it's spring. So I took out all of my heavy pajamas and um, I'm basically living in these chemises. I absolutely love them. I like to hang up um, some of my nightgowns, as you can see over here, just because I do have the space and they look pretty. So <laughs> this is my pajama drawer. So that gives you an idea of what is in here. So I do keep my undergarments in these drawers. And then on this stand here, I have displayed my perfumes. Um, even though I don't wear all of them, some of them are pretty and I like looking at them but this is the one I wear the most, which is Secret Genius. And then I have my books. So they make me happy, love my books. So my books are all here and a candle. I lit the candle for you. I don't normally light a candle in my, <laughs> in my closet. So that's it. I have a wrap there and then in my, uh, my grandmother's painting here on the wall. And then we get into my capsule wardrobe. Up here, I have books and things like that. Okay, but this is my capsule wardrobe here. And uh, those of you who have seen it, I will leave it in the I card up above. This is my 10 item capsule wardrobe for spring. Now I have some extras in here as well. It's not all core items. So t-shirts are extras. I've hung up these t-shirts because I wear them a lot and I like to keep them, uh, you know, looking nice and pressed. But yes, yeah, so I have um, some core items mixed with extras. So I have a shawl here. I have some camisoles that I like to hang up, blouses, dresses, and uh, some t-shirts, my favorite jumpsuits, trousers, and that type of thing. This is a sweater that I often wear, so I keep that out. Okay, these are the dressing gowns, and I do keep them out. Again, I'm a very visual person. I like walking in and seeing them, and now that it's spring-summer, I'm actually wearing these all the time. 
and I absolutely adore them. So they're uh, lacy and beautiful. So if you have beautiful things and this is your organizational style, don't be afraid to put them out. You shouldn't feel like you have to have stark surfaces everywhere and all this space. And then I have more decorative items here, a painting and uh, all of that here. This beautiful mirror, hello, which I need to um, wipe down. <laughs> anyway, uh, over here I have the my favorite chemises for the season so i'm wearing these all the time this is that midi oh my gosh from montel intimates i'm going to leave it linked down below and then these are my extras my special occasion wear so this is a um, special occasion dress for spring summer from sky and then another special occasion dress i have i mean really special occasion then i have some silk scarves from mont kichi this dressing gown which i i wear all the time because it's still quite light and then these are more holiday and winter. Uh, like I have some winter coats here and some holiday dresses. These are not all my coats. I also have a coat closet and um, some of those things are in there, but I didn't want to clutter up my wardrobe with lots of winter items. So my advice here would be if you have seasonal items to get them out of your closet, especially if you're limited on space, but if you uh, do have the space, it's okay to display a few things, just maybe not everything. You don't want to cram all seasons into your wardrobe, okay? So what I do up here is utilize these canvas bins. And now in my mind, I know exactly where everything is. You could always label them, but I know, I know what everything is. It's like two sweaters, extra um, sleepwear, and that's what that is. So I've got two bins of sweaters and extra sleepwear. And then um, here I have some more t-shirts that I have folded here, uh, handbags, and then uh, this is more sweaters. So I have um, just a mix of different seasonal sweaters. These are scarves. This one is my out of season clothes for uh, fall, winter. Okay, and so I'm gonna be going through this at the end of the summer to see if it still fits, if it looks good, if I wanna keep it or not. But that's my fall winter wardrobe in this bin. In this one, I'm not gonna show you that, that's shapewear. <laughs> that's like Spanx and pantyhose and slips and all of that good stuff. This um, bin contains my swimwear. Let's see if I could do this without toppling it over. I'll just bring it down and so you can see. So this is how I like to organize it. So I'll have all of my swimwear. You've seen this before. I even have sun hats. Um, cover-ups, all relevant items here. And I find that this is just the best way for me to do it. Rather than having it in a drawer, I actually prefer it like this in these canvas bins. Now I have my exercise clothes in this one, which should tell you how much I exercise because I'm keeping my hats on top of it. <laughs> I rarely get into dedicated exercise clothes, but I'll show you what I have in here because some of you ask me these questions. So I do have this older pair of jeans that's too big for me. I keep this for yard work if I want to go out and if I need to, I don't know, get messy or something. And I don't want to wear my nice jeans. I, I keep these jeans for that. I also keep this dress here, um, which was from last season because I often like to do the yard work in a dress. I love gardening in a dress. I don't necessarily want to wear yoga pants or something like that. So I keep this dress for that. And then this is like my dedicated workout clothes. I've got my college t-shirt there, of course. And then I'm, yes, I am that influencer who exercises in her merch. So there you go. Daily Connoisseur merch available down below. But I do have, uh, you know, my college shirts and, uh, you know, Daily Connoisseur t-shirts and stuff like that. But again, I'm the type of person who doesn't really do that much dedicated exercise. Like I don't go to a gym. So I try to incorporate it more into my daily life. Okay, so this is messy, I'll fix that a bit later. But that's what I do my yard work in, basically. Okay, this looks a lot different than the last time you were here. So the last time I shared my closet, this was a mess. I had all of this filming equipment here and things that didn't necessarily belong. So I have since reallocated that. I didn't wanna see that when I walked into my wardrobe. I wanted it to be beautiful and clean and serene. So I did move that to the garage and I also have another utility closet that I keep all of that in now. So now I just have this lovely space and it's nice and clear. I still have one of these and I keep like smaller handbags. I have another wrap in here. Um, some shoes and handbags and things like that. Down there I have some extra books and this is my 
uh, high heel collection. It's not everything I have. More stuff is in here, but um, these are my, you know, really nice heels and I like to look at them. So I keep them out. I love this thing. This is a heated wrap that I use all the time. It's from Sonoma Lavender Company and you put it in the microwave for two minutes and I put it around my neck or on my lap or I sleep with it. It's so good. <laughs> I'll leave it down below. Uh, down here, I've showed you this before. This is like, I don't know. I still need to go through this. There's some decorating things in there from the kids' rooms and old shoes and things like that. So I do have a bit of work to do with that. I have my Plush Necessities spa robe here, which I wear almost every day if I'm not wearing one of my lighter ones. And then this is my dirty clothes hamper. And here are some shoes. I'm working with nothing new this year. They um, are the Thursday boot people and they have these vegan shoes that are so awesome. So I have some shoes they sent me that I'm gonna be sharing with you. So I have some work stuff there and that's it. But what I want you to see from all of this is that I love visual things. I love to keep things on display. And uh, if I have beautiful things like perfumes, dressing gowns, um, you know, fake flowers because it's the closet, right? Books. <laughs> I love to be surrounded by books. So uh, these things bring me joy and I'm not about to hide them anywhere. I want to display them. So I like this system. It really works for me. I mean, I could get a large chest of drawers if I wanted to and maybe put some of the shapewear in there and the scarves in there. But right now I like the bins. Okay, so this is my scarf bin and I definitely have to go through that. Maybe I'll do a decluttering my scarves video. Here are a lot of my books that I keep up there and that is it. I hope you enjoyed my closet tour. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Daily Connoisseur cast. Congratulations on the second season of Hot Mess House. I'm so happy for you. Thanks for joining me everyone. Keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.